Garu, Vice Chancellor of Sri Krishna Deva Rai University today. That reason is earlier our college means we are celebrating the Srinivasa Ramanujan birthday and the college day separately. But today it was a great coincidence that we are celebrating Srinivasa Ramanujan's birthday and our college day simultaneously. Really it's a great coincidence. And on this auspicious occasion, I want to speak about the speak about something, uh, some achievements of Srinivasa Ramanujan in his life. Srinivasa Ramanujan was born on 27 December on 22nd December 1887 in Erod, Tamil Nadu. He he born his in his grandmother's house. Four, located 400 kilometers southwest of Madras. At the age of five, he joined primary school in Kumbakonam. By the year 1904, he started his investigations and researches on some of the branches of mathematics like hypogeometric series and elliptical functions, elliptical functions and etc. Some other branches of mathematics. He is one of the greatest mathematicians <coughs> in our country. <coughs> really, we have to feel proud that our country gave birth to such a great mathematician who is the role model for the upcoming students or mathematicians for the upcoming students. And in the year 1906, he joined, he went to Madras and joined in the college, in the uh, Pachayapas College. Uh, his aim was to pass the arts examination which would be allowed him to admit to the University of Madras. In the year 1910, he, uh, uh, he uh, uh, continuing his investigations and researches and calculated the Euler's constant to 15 decimal places. And his paper was published on Bernoulli's num Bernoulli numbers in the year 1911 in Indian Mathematical Society. Indian Mathematical Society and in the year 1918, 18 February, he was first appointed in the year 1899, in the year 1918, 18 February. He was first appointed as an accountant in the Accountant General's office of Madras and then he later he approached the collector of Nellu Sri Ramachandra Rao at that time and by his words he, motiv he got motivation and he stood for the election for the fellowship elections of Cambridge Philosophical Society of London and in the year 1919 uh, he sailed to India and arriving of April 26, 1920 he, despite of his medical treatment he died in Kumbakonam, Madras and he stood as the role model for upcoming mathematicians from that day. So uh, thank you one and all for giving me this opportunity. By Mr. Vinay of second EC. And before you, and to introduce our guest of honor for today's function, Mr. Lakshma Reddy Garu. He was born on 8th April 1954 in Thaman district. He completed his schooling and graduation in Bachelor of Science from Thaman. Later, he did his Master of Science in Mathematics from Osmania University and doctorate in Philosophy from Ramanjan Institute for Advanced Studies in Mathematics. He did his two years as postdoctoral research in Department of Atomic Energy in Government of India. Then, he joined University of Hyderabad as a faculty member in the Department of Mathematics and Statistics in 1977. He has got nearly 33 years of rich experience in teaching, in teaching line. Several research papers and PhDs were produced under his guidance. He had reviewed more than 100 research papers which were published in almost all the journals. And now he was and he and now he was elected as a fellow of Forum D Analyst. Sir, today we are very happy to have you and admit us on this event. Thank you. I request 
our guest of honor at today's function, Sri Lakshma Redigaru, to speak to the gathering. Thank you. for you, being the coincidence for Mrs. Ramanujan's 124th birthday and your colleagues. You know, to speak about Ramanujan, one can speak about volumes. He is one of the greatest Indian mathematical geniuses. He born in, he wrote, as one of your students just indicated, on December 22nd, 1987, I mean 1887, and died on this is the December 22nd, 1920. That means he lived for 32 years, 4 months and 4 days. You see his contributions they are enormous. If people know little mathematics, then one can really remember Ramarajan forever. I see most of you are all engineering students. I don't know whether you have the patience to say, uh, to see his all his entire life or not, but at least let me recall some of the things which is of inspiration for all of us. So, this 32 years, I know. If you divide this period into four parts, like one is his education, formal education, and another is the health, his, his own health, and his achievements, and his honors. If we compare these three things, one can get a lot of inspiration from the achievements of Ramanujan. Here you see that is this person, though he born in a most orthodox Brahmin family, he is a pure vegetarian, but he is thinking in mathematics. Really, it is just it is, you know, it is beyond our scope sometimes. First, he started with this is the analytical theory of numbers. I mean, let me say that is, at the age of five, he admitted into a primary school. Then he went to this is the middle school, but he could not concentrate much. At the age of 13 years, Either if any event we wanted to refer, either to his birthday or from his death days, just you can give the reference because that is the period he used was very short. So at the age of 13, this person was just really thinking about mathematics and forgetting about all other subjects. But because of that, so you could not come up in and with the formal degrees. But in spite of his arts and events, this economically poor background, he could achieve many things by sim simply thinking about his mathematics alone. But he first started with this the analytical theory of numbers. I don't know what made him to think like that. I mean, this is hypergeometric series. And Bernoulli numbers, elliptic functions, elliptic equations. And then he found that is this is the partitions of that is the numbers. And then you can say that is lot many more things like that. But in spite of this things and then he worked in a small shop for his living, he got some fellowships here and there because of form, lack of formal education, the fellowships have been terminated, but he has to work out for his own I mean, living and then joined in a, some pretty shops as a clerk and then just somehow he is managing it. But in the meantime, when he achieved this is the age of 17, then just his ill health started. That became a really, is morally, it is down his thinking. But Mentally he was so strong, though physically he could not just really so sound as he is as mental, mentally sound. But because of various reasons, with he was went on continuing this is a mathematical geniusness by exhibiting in various forms. And then one of the most remarkable thing, as your one of your just friends say that is, in 1911 he published a paper on on Bernoulli numbers 
in the journal of indian mathematical society really that made him so popular before that only he was known locally in the madras university or in the madras in mathematical circle everybody know that is this man has some genius in his, in his mind but that paper made him the wide publicity after seeing that then one from this is the cambridge called you know the gh hardy he invited him to join this is the trinity college so then somehow he moved to this is the on his invitation went to this is the trinity college then he made just in the london he was there for about 4 uh, years 10 months and then roughly 60 days but half of that time there he was always sick and then almost moving around the that is the various nursing homes and then trying to get cure and all the things but remain half he made a remarkable contributions especially when he was in india he was never be silent all the time just thinking thinking mathematics and partitions of numbers the last one was the partition of numbers and then that made him so popular that just it is the then to connect his achievements for today's mathematics really we can talk a little more <coughs> but let me finish up what just he was his final achievements were and then after spending this is it four years 10 months in london then just he can because of his help meantime his world war one broke out and then his food became a scarce thing for him especially his i mean his kind of food is very difficult to get it being a vegetarian and then it added to his more problems for his health but he he did he could manage but little bit but at one stage hardly could feel that this person i think no point in keeping him here when his health was slowly deteriorating it but he took him to doctor see the doctors confirmed that i think this man cannot survive for no longer but we don't have that kind of facilities in those days for the medical side had been we had this is the medical facilities as we have now then probably that man could have been survived but ultimately he came to this is the india in i think uh, uh, 1919 a year later just with your severe health problems like the lung infections and there some other complications are there not to say anything about it but he died on just in the april 26 1920 this was the thing but look at this honors he got it but honors said he got this is the fellow of this is the cambridge philosophical society one of the highest honors and another is this the in 1918 he got three honors that is the fellow of royal society of london which is again this is the highest honor for any scientist and another is this is the fellow of the trinity college cambridge but you know in mathematics the highest honor is the field medalist but in those days the field medalists were not there it started only from 1936 that field medalists otherwise you would have been a great achiever or great contendent for many of this is the i mean awards in those days available but in spite of all his health he has made too many contributions especially this elliptic functions and elliptic equations hyper geometric series and that the summation sigma 1 by n is that is all he is the man who knows infinity but these are all the things are there but even after death there are several unpublished work i mean in the form of notebooks are available till today we could not even i mean not many of those results even none of them we could be proved that but all these statements are made hypothetically but it all not proved but these days still open problems of ramanujan are still there in the literature probably young young students like you but when can attempt it when you have some time but for which one needs lot of background to attempt any mathematical problems is not that easy so unless you are deeply involved in mathematics but suppose if you connect his achievements to this is the modern technology we have many linkages for example you take this is the either take the hyper geometric series or elliptic functions or elliptic equations or elliptical number theory they have this is the so much number theory is have this is lot of links with the coding theory and then it has so many secrecy can be developed through this is the elliptical number theory but here if you lay there is little bit connections here and there if you wanted to go through you look at the game theory not theory coding theory even graph theory for that matter even as the dynamical systems play a vital role 
but indirectly this is Ramanand's contributions made to connect with this is the modern mathematics which ultimately shifts to this is the technology side. So in the short period of 32 years, this genius made really just this is the enormous contributions which are still open for us today to attempt some of the problems. So dear friends, especially the same students, one should get this is the inspiration from a man of that kind. You know where he has born, what are his achievements, I think what for he did it, how he has developed things. Just keep on just thinking, thinking about his mathematical just build-ups. So that's why one should get inspiration, if not necessarily in mathematics, even your engineering students, you can think about in your own area that what is that you could do. You should achieve something. All the time one should have the mind of just going for the discovery side. But all with the existing things, what else we can do? What else you can do? And then information technology has come up like that. So to give us several linkages towards this is the mathematics, from, from mathematics to this is the information technology, it is really again you can underline many things in that aspect. But I don't know, you are I wanted to say many, many more things, but still you are eager for your or you are looking forward for your enjoyment of your class I mean, uh, school day. But anyway, let me just close it at this stage. And then I wish all of you that to get some kind of inspiration from a great personality like Ramanujan. So we would like to see in future Ramanujans, I mean in, in various ways, not only in mathematics, such kind of geniuses can be in any area of the subject. So I just feel, I humbly submit that. Please people take him as a role model and then try to build up something on your own. I wish you all the best. Thank you for giving me. To launch our website which is recently redesigned yeah. by yeah. Uh, yeah. chairperson yeah. Sumat Parmanth yeah. Garu yeah. in the cooperation of yeah. department yeah. of CSC, yeah. especially yeah. Ranjit yeah. and Pranay. Yeah.